Just because it got. Oh, I love the Cavs too. colors. I don't know if y'all noticed the colors I made the show, but I love the Cavs colors. I, I, I do. They are my favorite colors. Let's talk oh. some NFL, man. Let's talk some NFL. Big Ben, uh, you know. Let, let me just so I get him right and don't don't misquote him. You know what I mean? Let me let me say what things he said. He said in one comment, he said we're double digit underdogs. In that same sentence, he said we're probably twenty point underdogs. It's a good thing that sentence ended. He probably would have said they were thirty point underdogs. He said we don't have a chance. He said let's go out, play, have fun. And he said out of the fourteen teams. We're in the playoffs, we're number 14. What are your thoughts about so- someone saying that about their own team going into a playoff game? Uh, I mean, let's be honest. Is is he lying, though? I mean, they are, they, are, they are the underdogs. I mean, no one was really expecting them to get into playoffs right now. They, it took a lot of luck and a lot to happen for the Pittsburgh to get into the playoffs, which, I mean, I'm not knocking them for it. They, they deserve to get in there, so, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but... I mean, everything that Ben was saying, I mean, he he wasn't lying, though. I mean, the Chiefs are definitely coming in hot right now. I'm not saying that the Pittsburgh is not, but, I mean, everybody is definitely picking the Chiefs to win. I know I'm definitely picking the Chiefs to win. Um, but for him to say that, I, I really feel like he's, like, just trying to motivate his team, and he's trying to do, like, reverse psych- psychology, as I say. But, I mean, like I said, to answer the question, I mean, everything he's saying, he's not wrong. He, he He's definitely not wrong at all. They are 12 and a half point underdogs, not 20, like he said. Uh, but let me, let me just say this, man, because Najee Harris came out and said, like he commented on his thing and said, you know, I can't say what he said, but but he said, like, what? Like, are you kidding me? He later on deleted that, but still, like, his own players don't believe that. I don't believe that. I have them as six point underdogs in this game. I think the Chiefs win by six. Uh, but you know, with a forty, the forty-six point spread with with like a twelve and a half point difference, that means like a twenty-nine to seventeen point game, right? That's what the, the that's what the betting odds have mass. By the way, we should bring on a, a a guy who knows betting eventually in one of these episodes because that is not my uh, expertise. But definitely not. Definitely. That being said, I look at their receiving core, and it's not the worst receiving core in the playoffs. I look at Najee Harris; he's not the worst running back in the playoffs. I look at Minka Fitzpatrick and Hayward. I look at T.J. Watt, leads the league, just tied the record for sacks all time. I know he had an extra game, but still, he tied it. I look at the two Joes who came from Cleveland. Walt should know them, Joe Schobert, Schobert and Joe Hayden. Those boys can all ball. None of them are the worst at their position. You know one position that the Steelers are the worst at of every team in the playoffs? Quarterback. So when Ben Roethlisberger said, no one expected us to be here. We are the worst. We're number 14. No, he should have said, I'm the worst. I suck. This t- I dragged this team down, and this team didn't – I don't deserve to be here. This team deserves to be here. Ben Roethlisberger is the only thing about that team that's trash. I'm sorry, he's a bum, and he's shown out this year. He won't – look at him. He looks like he hasn't hit the gym in a, in a freaking five years, man. I'm so done with him. Like to say this kind of stuff. And I, by the way, I hope for his sake it is motivation, some sort of weird thing he's trying. Because if he really believes this, then he needs to self reflect because he's an idiot. That's all I got. I'm just saying, man. He, he annoys me. I mean, I, I mean I'm not saying it's going to be a blowout, but I mean, I mean, the Steelers are, like I said, the Steelers are there for a reason. You know what I'm saying? They're a tough, gritty team. Thank you. Mike Mike Tomlin, he, he is a great coach. You know what I'm saying? They, that, Ben, he's a he's a Super Bowl he's a Super Bowl quarterback as well. I mean, yes, he has been struggling this this year, but when the time when the time comes, Ben has showed up in the fourth quarter. You know, what I'm saying to get them that little field goal or touchdown that they needed. You know, to get the win. You know, what I'm saying these last couple of games, so he has been showing up even though he has been struggling as well. But um, I mean, like I said, the, the Steelers are they, they're here for a reason. I'm not saying it's going to be a 20 point, 30 point blowout, but I mean. I just feel like the Chiefs are going to pull this one out. You know what I'm saying? Patrick Mahomes, like I said, they're coming in hot. Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, I'm not sure if he's healthy. Uh, coming Because it looked like last week he was uh, hurt. But, I mean, Hartman, he's, st- he's, he's been stepping up as well. So, like I said, I'm expecting the Chiefs to win. I'll probably say maybe 20 – I'll say I even say 24 to 21. Three-point game. Nico, what you got? I think it's uh, it's underlining motivation. You know, because this is stuff you don't say in public. You know, you tell me this in private. You're right. 
Say it again, John. No, I just I hope you're right. I hope he's trying to motivate his team and he doesn't actually believe these things. Because if he really believes these things, then he needs to look in the mirror. But go, keep going. Yeah. You got to think, though. He's a quarterback. You know, a lot of times quarterbacks want you to think you got them in a, you know, in a in a bad spot just so they can get right out of it. You know, it's – I think I think it's motivation. I think what he's doing, he's trying to put a bug in his team's ear, a battery in their back, so they could come out tomorrow playing like their hair is on fire and shock the world, beat the Chiefs, um, because I mean, you know, they're they're not bad. It's just the offense. The offense. Look at the last few games. You know, you what? What did they win? 16-13 against the Ravens. The Chiefs. I mean, the Chiefs. The Browns. Him and Baker both had horrible games. Baker came on late, but by that time, you know, you ain't got no timeouts, and you're struggling. So. You know, at by the time Baker did get it going, it was already in hand. So I mean, I really, I really feel like it's motivation. He's motivating his guys. You know, so I'm like, man, right. why would you put that out there? Now we, you know, do you think it's, it's kind of like a pissed off God. motivation? Do you think it's motivation for the guys, or like John said, it's motivation for himself? Both. Okay. It has to be motivation for the guys because if it's if the, he motivates himself by trashing other people on his own team, then he's then he is a bum. Let's here, so that's my take. Is I see Najee deleted his comments after like calling out Big Ben, like what, like why are you saying these things? So maybe Ben texts him like, Nah, man, I'm just I'm just saying that for the media. Don't worry, I believe in us. Whatever, who knows? But I'm just saying, man, if this team, listen, the Chiefs can be held to. You know, I mean, you you can hold the Chiefs to low twenties. It's been done several times this year. I know it's early on in the year, but listen, they they're not dropping you know fifty every game. They, they had a couple big games late, but you gotta get you gotta get this game under control. You're the Steelers. You gotta get this game under control early. And if they can do that, I really think they have a shot at winning this game. Okay. Um, because you have the guys who can make plays all over the field. The Chiefs are banged up just like everybody else. You know, no one's healthy, so. You got T.J. Watt, possibly the defensive player of the year, you know. So, man, you got to make the right plays. You know, I I don't know, man. Like, I, I would just game plan for the defense mostly. I wouldn't try to get into a shootout with Kansas City. I, because here's the Big Ben, he still is smart enough to make all the right plays. He just can't physically make the throws that he needs to make. Like, I watch him throw, and I'm like, yeah, his body, his body, man. His, his, body has, his mind is like telling up, him this but... is the right throw, and then he just can't physically make the throw. And I'm like, so, you know, if he can make, you know, if they can game plan well and, and manage the clock on offense and then play good defense, they, they have a shot to beat Kansas City. I don't think anyone's counting them out. I mean, I feel like as long as they don't have the same pattern that they've been having from weeks past of falling down big in the first half, I feel like the Pittsburgh. I feel like Pittsburgh will have a chance. So they they just can't fall down twenty or you know seventeen at, at half. They they have to make sure that they either they are up or the, the game is close. No 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 more than a, within a touchdown reach or a field goal reach. You saw all seen that that T Mobile commercial where they're like you know we get what, oh we got T Mobile like we, we got any plan coming out in the halftime and. Uh, I forget her name. Yvette Brown, the lady from uh, Community. I don't know if you ever watched that. She's like, "Nah, we ain't. We're gonna get stomped." That, that's. I think. I think Big Big Ben needs to get himself a contract with T-Mobile so he can he can do that commercial and just yeah. crash his own team. But ben, I, ben, I really ben. do. I, I hope he's. I hope that he's trying to motivate his guys because, like, honestly, man, like if he really believes those things, then man, he's a bum. And he, you know, I'm glad he's retiring. But if not, then kudos to him for whatever psychological game he's playing. <laughs> the coach was it, it's a commercial it used to be a power aid commercial and the coach gave the team a pregame speech and he was pretty much telling them like hey you ain't good enough the team we playing they got a bunch of foreigners they supposed to win this game we're not even supposed to be here and I think that's what Big Ben is doing and he kept telling them throughout the commercial power through and i think that's what big ben is doing like look we're not supposed to be here we're the 14th best team in this dang on playoffs just go out there and play play your game 
and, and that's what I feel like. That's all he was pretty much trying to say. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Like, like they, they, they're not. They weren't supposed to make it at all. So that's why I'm like, he's just like, hey, let's go out here, have fun, and right. hey, play like your hair is on fire. What's the worst that could happen? You know, reckless abandonment. There's Don't rumors that uh, Kansas City's getting kind of excited about this game because they're talking about possibly getting up so many points they can rest their starters in the second half. We'll see. <laughs> That's no, for real. That's a real, real rumor going around. I don't know if anyone's actually said it. I, I, do believe that Kansas, I believe Kansas City's going to treat this like a real game every game. But there's rumors. I mean, based, based off of, how they played them a couple weeks ago, I would feel that way too. I mean, yeah. If you do get up, if you do get a twenty point jump on them, yeah, you got to rest your starters definitely. But yeah. Or well, yeah, if anything, must... don't throw another pass the rest of the game. They not resting their starters in no playoff game. Are y'all if serious? If you're up twenty, I'm not letting Mahomes get hurt. Are you kidding me? Not against. I mean, I mean, yeah, think I, of, I, but I, think I, about I, it. I, I, they they got you got Watt, man. In a playoff game, you telling me you gonna rest Patrick Mahomes in a wild card playoff game? Are you serious? When you got TJ Watt coming at me, I'm not letting him hit me, my guy, up in the fourth quarter when I'm up twenty six. I'm sorry, I'm not. Okay, you, not okay, you didn't say all that. You didn't say the fourth quarter, but I'm just. I thought you meant like the first half. But I'm like, I said if they're up twenty in the third quarter, I said. Okay, I was about to say like I'm definitely definitely not about to take Patrick Mahomes out. I was about to say. Okay, my fault, my bad. 